it with string and we're going to drag the string from the text field and when we have the URL we have to make a new NSURL request request uh, and this request is going to be loaded inside the web view request with URL URL and now when the uh, view is pushed we need to load web view load request request and now we release what we locked so we locked the URL uh, release and the view release so what just happened here first of all we allocated a new class of the web view controller this is pretty straightforward and we pushed uh, this class inside the uh, navigation controller next when our view was pushed we created an a new URL out of the string that uh, the user has entered inside the UI text field and next we created a new uh, URL request and then we process the request with the web view that we uh, allocated inside the web view controller class next we released uh, to prevent memory leaks uh, so this it's pretty straightforward so now we're going to play around with the web view controller uh, zip file so first of all we're going to uh, add a new uh, UI web view we're going to resize it a bit because we're going to be added, adding a UI toolbar Where's the toolbar? Here's the toolbar. We add a toolbar. Great. And now we connect the web view of outlet to the object instance. And now we're going to be adding adding uh, three uh, bar button items inside the, uh, this toolbar there are these buttons are going, are going to be forward, forward, uh, back and stop just like a uh, real browser so this one is going to be back and we're going to add a fixed space uh, next one is going to be stop, stop from loading and another fixed space you can extend this a bit bar button item forward great so now we point we point the selectors to the web view class and we see web view has a few uh, actions in here. Let's go back, go forward, re reload and stop loading. And these names uh, speak for themselves. So when we want this uh, this button to be uh, causing the web browser to go back, we have to point uh, the action, so this selector to the go back uh, action, action of the UI web view. The same goes with stop. So stop loading and forward it's going to be go forward great so now everything should be working now so let's save it and press build and go yahoo.com return whoops I've done something wrong here it should be navigation controller ok 
keyboard disappears and let's wait for the page to load and our page just loaded and we have a normal browser and we can press here and we can go back as we see everything is working just fine so that's how our, that's how our browser looks like but there is a catch uh, our browser works only with uh, the um, when we enter the HTTP in front of the address. If you don't uh, add this inside, uh, the, the page isn't going to load. So first of all, we're going to uh, add two ifs uh, before the action. So first of all, we're going to check if the text field has length uh, more than seven characters, because that's what the HTTP uh, double dot and two slashes uh, are log. And then we're going to check uh, if there is an HTTP uh, in the beginning. So first of all, we're going to add an if. Uh, text, text field text length uh, is more or equal than 7 uh, and then we're going to check if and a string string equals and a string lock in it with string no not string format mm, text field text 